ladies, it's Melissa Feedsome. Again, I know um, I just won't leave you guys alone. So today I wanted to tell you a little more about my power hour with my personal business. So I know a lot of you always say, how do you get all of this done? How do you keep track of everything? How do you do this? How do you do that? Well, I posted some videos a while ago about my system that I use, but I really wanted to dig into one of the parts today, um, and we'll make a couple more videos, um, but this is the most important aspect of my business, besides my hostess coaching um, arc binder. Um, this is the most important thing to track my business and this is why I am so successful because I am meticulous about tracking everyone, um, all of my customers, all of my uh, recruiting leads, um, all of my VIP customers, all of my past hostesses, um, booking leads, everything is in this one little binder. So I want to walk you through um, the first step that I would love for everyone to work on. Um, your booking and your recruiting are pretty much going to be the same um, idea. So these are the first two that we're going to work on, but I'm specifically going to talk about the recruiting because we have the fall selling, fall selling season um, right around the corner. And the most one of the most important things about a catalog change is that you are following up with all of those recruiting leads um, that you've had in the past. And it doesn't matter if they told you they were interested in signing up a year ago, two years ago. Um, I've had people sign up three years later, four years later. It doesn't matter. You have to make sure that if someone um, tells you that they are interested in um, more information about re the recruiting aspect that you are writing their information down in entirety. I don't mean just their email address. I mean their email, their address, their cell phone number, um, and details about them personally and their request for information from you. Um, it is so, so important to keep track because what's going to happen is this person is going to decide, you know what, now's the time to sign up and you haven't contacted them in a year and a half. So they're going to go to the home office um, main website and request a consultant because you never followed up with them and they didn't have your information anymore um, or they just didn't feel like fooling with finding you. Um, and I can tell you uh, this has happened in just the last couple of weeks with me. Someone um, got into the home office pool um, that was actually a customer of someone else. And um, now she wants to sign up. And, um, you know, what do you do? So don't let that happen to you. Make sure um, that you're writing all the information down. So this is what we're going to go over. So in this binder. I have eight folders. Okay. I have eight folders with pockets on the front. I got these from um, Walmart in a pack of eight. So very easy. Now in these pockets, what I'll do on a weekly basis is I will put my enter my drawing slips that I got um, from my parties or from fish bowls or um, when I was out and about, whatever I was doing, when I get these leads, if they check uh, booking or if they check recruiting or um, whatever they check that they're interested in, I will throw it in the appropriate pocket in this binder. The idea with this binder is that every fifth, every day I have 15 minutes that I work on some particular aspect of my business. There's booking that needs 15 minutes all on its own. So every Monday morning, I have 15 minutes on my calendar, time blocked and highlighted every single Monday for the rest of the year. That is my 15 minutes for booking calls. Now it doesn't mean that I have to ask someone to book a party. Um, I think that's where 
people kind of shy away from doing this power hour type thing and working on booking calls, um, I call it booking calls lightly. Um, you should be going through your contacts and just touching base with someone. Just reaching out to them and saying hello can go a million miles. Um, did someone have a baby? Is someone sick? Someone's kid sick? Or someone's um, just got out of the hospital? Or um, someone had a birthday? There's a thousand reasons that you can contact somebody just to say hello and just to touch base and say, hey, I was thinking about you today. Um, that will go a long way in your business. So that 15 minutes that you have um, allotted to booking, that should be a, a time where you are just touching base with as many people as you can. Now, do you want to ask some people to book a party? Absolutely. Um, during that time, do you want to work on your next newsletter to your customers? Absolutely. Um, but that 15 minutes is just dedicated to working on making connections so that you can get some future bookings out of it. So it doesn't always have to be hardcore um, book a party right now. I need you to book a party. Uh, that's not what we're doing. We're making connections. Okay, so the tab that we are going to work on is our recruiting tab. That is the second tab in my, um, in my thing here. So this is, um, this is an idea of what it is. So you have three blocks, they're the same. Um, you have three blocks and it has their customer name, their address, their phone, their email, and a little notes box. Um, so in this, if someone expresses interest to me, their information goes in here immediately, okay? Um, I never wanna lose touch with these people. So when a new catalog comes out, um, I'm going to send these people uh, a message or um, I'm going to send them a letter that has the new kit um, that has information on updates about the company and why they want to join now. Okay. So, and then any other recruiting incentives that they offer, um, you know, throughout the season, you'll definitely want to update these people. But um, the idea, again, with this binder is that when we sit down to do something like that, um, oftentimes our information on our potential recruits is so scattered. It's everywhere. Uh, you don't know where to look. You're, it could be under the bathroom sink. It could be on the floor under your desk. There's papers everywhere with little scratches everywhere. And you are spending more time looking for information than you are actually working your business. And what happens? You just give up because you spent too much time working on it and trying to find all this information. But when you get this binder completed, like I want you to work on, you never have to look for information because it's all here. So you can actually take 15 minutes on Tuesdays. This is just my day, theoretically. Um, so Tuesdays, I have a 15 minute time block for recruiting. I sit down at my desk with my Power Hour binder and I have everything that I need sitting right in front of me. I do not have to move. I do not have to look for information. It is all right in front of me, okay? so. I have learned to actually fall back in love with this aspect of my business because it's not frustrating anymore. It's not hard anymore. It's so easy. It's so systematic that I actually love to sit down and work on my business and connect with my customers. I love it. I have fallen back in love with my own business and I really encourage you to do this. So the first thing that I want you all to do is I want you to go out and I want you to buy a two, a one or two inch binder. I think this is a one and a half inch binder. I want you to buy the binder um, with a pocket, a clear pocket in the front so you can um, doll it up and make it pretty. And then um, I want you to buy the eight tabs. And then I want you to buy the sheet protectors that go inside of the different tabs. I put everything in sheet protectors because I want to keep it nice and neat. So you can put them front to back in sheet protectors and it works much, much better. 
Um, so a 50 pack of those is like three bucks, a binder is like two bucks, and eight tabs is like two or three bucks. Um, so let's get your binders together. I am going to upload the recruiting um, sheet that I want you to download, and I want you to start filling out with just first names. I want you to fill out just first names, uh, first and last names, of your past potential recruits. And what I want you to do is I want you to pull up your contacts on your Facebook. And I want you to scroll through those contacts. And I want you to jog your memory on anyone who ever had expressed interest. Because I guarantee you that there's someone that you forgot about who had said something about signing up a long time ago. Um, the other thing that I want you to do is I want you to go through your back office contacts. So I want you to pull up your contacts in your back office and I want you to scroll through every single customer. I want you to jog your memory again on anyone who might have ever expressed interest about signing up because I promise you you've forgotten about some people that are in there but once you see their name you'll be like oh yeah she said that one time blah 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 blah. Okay so I want you to do that. And then I want you to go through your email contacts. You might have, uh, might jog your memory seeing some names in your email contacts of people who might have said that. So that is the first step, is going through and getting their first and last name. Um, the next thing that I want you to do is I want you, say you only have their email address, okay? What I want you to do is I want you to email them. And I want you to say, Hey, Sarah, it's been a long time since I've touched base with you. I was sending out uh, many catalogs, and I just wanted to see if I could get your address. It looks like it's missing from my, um, my 31 contacts. Um, so what this is, is just a way to reconnect with your business. This is actually how I completely 100% relaunched my own business. I actually started reconnecting with all of these customers that I had lost touch with. But I wasn't reaching out to say, hey, book a party, hey, sign up. I was saying, I would really like to send you a new mini catalog. It's been forever since I've heard from you. And I would just like to show you what's new. Um, can I get your address or can I get your email? Whatever you have or whatever information you're missing, make that connection work so that you can get complete information on this person and just reconnect. I guarantee you that you will start to see an improvement in your connections with your customers. I will guarantee you if you do this completely and 100% right, you will get some bookings out of it. You will get a recruit out of it if you make these connections. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to work on your recruiting section of your binder. And I'm going to upload that to our team page. And um, if you do this right, just let me tell you, if you do this right, this will take you a couple of weeks to finish. I want this done right. I don't want half of the information because if you only do it halfway it's not going to be beneficial to you you're still going to be getting up looking for information and it's still gonna frustrate you so take your time and do this tab 100 percent and I guarantee you you will thank me for it and you will fall back in love with your business so let me know what you think and I hope this helps somebody and then in a couple weeks we'll make another video and we'll go through another tab in this binder so that you can work your own business in 15 minutes a day. Love you guys.